Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. So, the movies and DVDs are back at Dollar Tree. I'm not exactly sure what day they are officially supposed to come out. I've seen things online saying it's the 22nd of January, but I went to all the Dollar Trees that are near me and every single one of them had them out in their bins. So I think maybe it was on January 15th, but I'm not 100% sure. I did not get near as many as I have in the past and this will probably be the only video that I do on these because there wasn't really a whole lot that I wanted. A lot of the movies look like they were from past batches, which is kind of like, okay, there were a couple new things, so I did pick up some new things, so pretty happy about that. But let's get into the DVDs that I picked up. So the first one that I picked up is the Chris Rock, the best of the Chris Rock show. This is volume one and volume two, and this is like a like big slip cover, I would say, and it comes with the two DVD cases with each of the um, for each of the volumes. The next one I picked up is Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures Jurassic Pack. Uh, this is just some stupid show, but I have almost all of the DVDs that they released of the show uh, just from buying them at the Dollar Tree sale, so I figured I'd pick this one up. Um, I'm also interested to watch the episode that has to do with Jurassic Pack because I want to see if it's like Jurassic Park and like the Pac-Man version of it. I also picked this one up. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 2 Volume 1. So they've had a bunch of the Yu-Gi-Oh! sets. The I think this is the lowest one that they've had. I don't never seen um, Season 1 and I think I have a couple of the other ones from previous sets but I was happy to have found this one so I can uh, start getting more of this Yu-Gi-Oh set and for a dollar you really can't go wrong. This is Lego Nexo Knights. Don't know anything about this. Uh, it's season one. I have season two that I bought at a Dollar Tree sale a long time ago, but I usually try to check out the Lego things. Sometimes they can be really not good and then sometimes they could be like for little kids and it just kind of depends. So I figured I would check this one out and see what it's all about. I also picked up two versions of a television series. This is called Cracked and it's Cracked What Lies Beneath. This is a BBC program but I think that this is a Canadian show. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the show that I used to watch called Crossing Lines. I'm not 100% sure, but just based off of the vibe that I get from reading it, it kind of sounds like that. And then I also picked up this one, which is Cracked Push to the Edge. Um, this show ran for two seasons. I think that there's 20 to 21 episodes. These only account for 14 of those episodes, so I don't know if there's another release of this or if that's all that was ever just released on DVD, but I look forward to watching that and kind of just seeing what it's all about. All right, now let's get into the Blu-rays that I picked up. So the first Blu-ray that I picked up was Gangster Squad. This is something that I've never seen before, but I mean it has so many people in it. It's got Josh Berlin, Ryan Gosling, uh, Emma Stone and Sean Penn and so I figured I would check this one out. Um, happy to have found this one. I also picked this one up which is actually a Walmart exclusive that comes with a collectible booklet. So this is Unbroken, The Path to Redemption. So this is the second movie in the, I guess, Unbroken franchise now. Um, I did not see the first one, which I do plan on watching at some point, um, but uh, yeah, I hope that also that when people bought this at Walmart that it, they didn't pay that much extra for it considering that this is the booklet that comes with it. With the Target editions, they come with like pretty decent things. This is just like a couple sheets of paper together. Um, there is a lot of words in this, so I guess that's something that could be, uh, nice to have, but for the most part, I think that might have been a little bit of a waste of money if you paid extra for this being a Walmart exclusive. Uh, the next Blu-ray I picked up was I'm Still Here, which I think I remember hearing pretty good things about this. It has Joaquin Phoenix in it, and it's directed by Casey Affleck. Um, so I figured I would uh, check it out and see if it's good. I don't remember which batch it was, but I was really looking for a specific movie and I was finally able to find it. So I picked up Tammy. Um, 
I really like Tammy. I know a lot of people probably hate it, but uh, it was interesting the time that I watched Tammy. I it was my senior year is when I came out. I had three friends, and we decided to take a road like a senior trip um, on our own, and we went to New York state and we went to all these different uh things in new york state we basically traversed the entire state and we went to niagara falls that happened in this um we stayed with my aunt and she went with us everywhere and so uh it just definitely reminded me a lot of that trip and we went and saw this movie in theaters when it when we were there and so it just really reminded me of that trip and kind of really makes me love this movie. Then the last movie that I picked up was called After the Dark. And I think I watched this on Netflix or some streaming service. And I remember really liking it. I definitely need to rewatch it, but it's basically like um, a movie that plays out a philosophical question, which I'm sure most people have already have done at some point in their lives. I've done it several times. Um, in college, but it's basically the philosophical question of if there's some catastrophe or something like that, who do you save in the event that it is? You have to make decisions, you can only have 10 people stay alive and be protected, and you have to decide whose skill set makes them expendable, whose skill set makes them an asset. And so it basically plays out like that, so it's a really actually fun movie from what I remember. So I definitely want to check this one out again. But that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you picked up from Dollar Tree, if you found anything good, or what you think of what I picked up. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.